Good evening. A warm welcome to Visual Compline with me, Ian Wiley. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned, in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. And a reading from Psalm 11, the psalm appointed for evening prayer today, with the refrain, The Lord's throne is in heaven. The Lord's throne is in heaven. In the Lord I have taken refuge. How then can you say, Flee like a bird to the hills? See how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string to shoot from the shadows at the true of heart. When the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord's throne is in heaven. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyes try every living thing. The Lord tries the righteous as well as the wicked. But those who delight in violence, he abhors. Upon the wicked, he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulphur and scorching wind shall be their portion to drink. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds, and those who are upright in heart shall behold his faith. The Lord's throne is in heaven. God of heaven, when the foundations are shaken and there is no escape, test us, but not destruction. Look on the face of your anointed and heal us in Jesus Christ, your Son. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. And a reading from the Holy Gospel of Mark. The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise, night and day. The seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth would produce of itself first the stalk, then the head, and then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. Into your hands, O Lords, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lords, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, 
O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now, the Nunc Dimittis, prefixed and suffixed, by a reminder that Mary, who bore Jesus as a baby, suffered so much in his life and death. Blessed is she whose soul was pierced by the sword of the cross. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Blessed is she, whose soul was pierced by the sword of the cross. And so to prayers. Beginning with a prayer from the rite of Sarum, from the 11th century. Stir up, O Lord, our hearts to prepare the way of thy only begotten, that by his coming we may be counted worthy to serve thee with purified hearts, who livest and reignest with God in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Almighty and everlasting God, who stooped to raise fallen humanity through the childbearing of blessed Mary, grant that we, who have seen your glory revealed in our human nature and your love made perfect in our weakness, may daily be renewed in your image and conformed to the pattern of your Son. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing always be upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples when they asked him, How should we pray? Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance. 
and we shall be saved. Bless us and keep us, this night and always. Amen. So Compline is concluded. Go in peace.